Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Reading Ideas. Uh, I've, I've been tagged, I've been tagged. I was, I've been tagged a, a couple of times. Uh, firstly, I've uh, been tagged by Gavin at Genre Books, great channel, um, to do the library chat, uh, to do the library tag. Oh, that extra R in there. Uh, how was it just, hang on a second, what do you reckon? Bit of the Elvis look, Eric Cantona, no, perhaps not. Uh, so yeah, I'm playing for time because I don't go to the library. <gasps> Confession time. Now, uh, I have been to the library at different stages in, uh, in my life. So I'll I'll talk a little bit about that. And there's a section at the end that says, you know, if you don't go to the library, you know, why the heck not? And uh, there's some bonus questions. So uh, firstly, uh, Gavin, I think I, uh, he mentioned that the, he used to go to the British Library. And, uh, but he, he doesn't go as much now because it's been hacked and it's kind of destroyed the filing system and ordering system which is a bit sad isn't it you know that it was a, a ransom demand and they couldn't wouldn't pay the ransom so that was that the hackers yeah messed their place up uh yeah not very nice uh for you know a, a service being provided I was going to say free, I'm not going to fall into that trap, uh, being provided by taxpayers' money, uh, free at the point of use, apart from your photocopying and your bills and, you know, paying your own way to get there. Uh, so, yeah, so that's that's a little bit sad. Uh, so, but the, the times of my life when I have been in the library, I... You know, read a lot as uh, in, in in my teens, and I used to go into uh, Berry Library and sit there and try and write and read different things. Uh, you know, lovely, lovely little library, very quiet. Um, you know, quite old, and you know, some nice old furniture there, heavy, heavy desks, and I got quite friendly with a very nice librarian there i used to you know be quite interested in um planes and space and things like that and there was a book called flight international and i'd go and i'd look at the latest copy and this librarian kindly you know went to get old copies that they were going to be throwing out and she'd give me old copies of Flight International because they were going to bin them otherwise and I think there was other magazines as well which was absolute you know which was great absolutely great so yeah so thank you very much to that librarian it was much appreciated so I'd be in my late teens then um yeah about 17 I should think uh yeah the then the uh uh, and while I was at while I was at college, there was a, a nice library there, and of course in college libraries, uh, there was as much uh, socialising going on as as there were as there was uh, reading, perhaps even more so. So it was uh, a, a great place, and I was actually introduced to my wife there. Uh, you know she, you know. We we stay together. Well, I went through university, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, and we're still together, so we'll count it as a happy memory, okay? <laughs> um, and then at uh, university, again, a great place for uh, university library was great. It was on the same level as a cafeteria, so you know, just as much. You know, writing essays there, and you could nip out. You know, if 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 your group got a bit too boisterous in the library, so again, fantastic place for for socialising, uh, meeting people. You know, when you're in your early twenties, surrounded by people, 
in your early 20s uh, doing business studies and international marketing with people from you know from all over the world south america france italy it was yeah fabulous 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 time was had by all uh, so that that was great i should really be talking about the book shouldn't i <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh yeah great great happy times uh, there uh, in amongst the you know the they, they might not have been always mind-numbing essays to start with but by the time you finish they were weren't they so yeah so great happy memories of Thames Polytechnics on the uh, the bank of the River Thames Thames Polytechnics library it's now been uh, gloriously renamed Greenwich University uh, so yeah uh, so yeah and then so after oh, I, I tell a fib I nearly missed when I went after being working for five six years I then went and retrained to be a maths teacher and the, at St Martin's in Lancaster and there was a, again a great library there uh, I did a little video on <laughs> uh, if you want to have a look at that uh, the bliss system uh, in use in library as we were introduced to it and again many many uh, happy happy times in the library there studying reading you know getting books out for for essays and uh yeah there might have been a little bit of socializing as, as well there so uh, great experiences of libraries and i should really go back there's quite a nice library in lancaster and I do my own writing and I've been doing it at home and I've been thinking for, for a while to, you know, to, to nip into Lancaster and, and try writing there and see how I get on. So I will be going, I will be going back. Okay. We'll be going back. So I currently don't have a library card, uh, but I might be getting one soon or at least using the facilities there. Uh, the it, one of the questions was find have you ever been do you remember being fined well there was a, a funny tale i nearly fell out with a fell out with a friend i'd got a book out and i'd read it and i was talking talking about it to a friend and he said oh i'd, I'd like to read that so i thought you know this we're talking you know you know 17 18 years of age so i said well i can lend it you uh, but you know I'm, I'm going to need it back to return it to the library and of course uh, you know he'd got the book but I got the ticket and you know I said to him well you know I need that book back to put it in and he said oh don't worry I've put it back so I thought all right fine fair enough uh, and then you know um, sometime later I got a letter where's this book you know so I went up to him. What you know? I'm getting a, a letter here asking for this book back, and that there's a there's a there's a fine. And he said, "Oh no, I've taken it back." So I, it's like you know, you got to be you got to be kidding me. So I said, "Oh, okay." And so I, it must be stuck in the system, you know. Anyway, so, you know, again, some time went went on. I don't know exactly how long, and I got another letter. Where where is this book? Demanding the return of this book. So it's like, oh, he's lied to me. So I went up to him and I said, look, you know, it's costing me money, this. Look, I've had this letter again. And he, and he said, no, honestly, I've taken it back. So I thought this, you know, he's, I'm thinking, he, this friend of mine's lying to me. So, you know, you know what can I do? So um, I can't remember the next bit. I think I might have even had a third letter or I'd been in and they'd mentioned it. And, you know, so I got really fed up with him. And I said, look, you know, if, if you've lost it or whatever's gone on, just tell me and then I can get it cleared and sorted. Because, you know, I'm telling I'm telling them that you've returned it and they're telling me that you haven't. And he said, well, I didn't hand it in at the desk. I just put it back on the shelf. So, <laughs> so anyway, so uh, I can't remember 
It's a little bit of a while ago since I was 17, whether I wrote to them, rung them on the phone or went in and I said, I think I'm, I think I must have written to them because, and I, I said to I said to them I said look, this friend of mine he's he's saying that he didn't uh, hand it in at the desk he put it back on the shelf so if you could just check your sh- your shelf and see if it's there he's saying it's handed back in, and I never heard from him again and I didn't have to pay the fine, so either they just gave up or they went to the shelf and there it was, I I, I hope it was there on the I hope it was there on the shelf uh now I went off to uni um I did see him again but I'm not in touch with that friend anymore so maybe it was a sign I don't know so yeah right so that's me going to the library not going to the library uh so yeah not been not been in years so the questions if you don't go to the library so why not I just I like to own the books. My wife goes to the library. She gets out a lot of library books, uh, but I like to I like to get books that I think I'm going to like. I'm going to want to keep and go back to. So that's why I don't go to the library. Uh, and where do you get your books from? Uh, I'm lucky that I've got uh, some great secondhand bookshops locally. If I uh, come across a book, I, if either I remember a book that I've had in the past and I want back or I can't get, then I might be tempted to go on eBay, uh, sorry, sorry, Amazon and, you know, if, if you know, I, I can't, I'm not looking to wait until it turns up in, in a different way, then I'll perhaps send from it off Amazon or get it out of one of the bookshops in Lancaster, uh, sometimes get tokens to either get books off Amazon or from a bookshop for birthdays and Christmas so yeah uh, what else is the last time you set foot in a library now this is going to mix up with uh, the next one have you ever been to a an event at a library I recently saw uh, advertised in Bolton Sands which is uh, just a little bit up the coast uh, as close as Morecambe or Lancaster is to me. So just further around the coast, uh, Morecambe Bay, uh, Bolton on the Sands Library, and they would, it was an event on the early Anglo-Saxon history. And I have found a Anglo-Saxon site and got some, you know, items from their coins and relics. So I went to listen to the talk with my little tray of stuff and you know th- these are important finds the museum is going to be scanning the ground in the next few days to see if there's any uh, signs of a settlement there any ditches any walls any post holes for anglo-saxon roundhouses or wh- whatever uh, so it's you know an important site particularly in north west england there isn't a lot of anglo-saxon up here mainly in the southeast so that's why the the museum are interested in scanning the ground and taking in the finds so he gave his speech and at the end you know when people asked the questions i went up and showed my finds and (laughs) you know thinking he would be like oh yeah that's great and this whatever and i think he was a bit put out you know what i think he thought i was kind of stealing his thunder and that the people were gathering around looking at these finds you know, I was wanting his expert opinion on, you know, this is that age and this belongs to that. So that that was quite funny. So so yeah, that's my experience of stepping into a library and an event at a library. And what else is there? Uh, yep, yeah. uh, little free libraries and book swap shops. Yes, let me think one. Uh, three I've got three free book swap shops that I'm aware of and one is quite quite big in a in a in in a church Uh, but the books are not really shifting much there so there's not much turnover there's another one in a bus stop in a little village which that gets replenished quite a lot that's that's very good and then there's a bit of a a desperate one in a bus stop 
uh, quite close to where I am that's not got you know that doesn't have much much in there uh, and you know the box you know gets a bit of rain damage <laughs> underneath the bottom so and I have put books in and you've you've seen videos of the books that I've kind of got off there so that's the that's the library tag I'll tag a, a few channels down below obviously feel free to to take part or, or not take part but that's the library tag and I think there's I've been tagged uh, by Maeve Ever Books, I think to do the is it the golden tag or something? So I'll I'll check that out and do a different video on that. But you've probably heard enough of me waffling on so far. So that's me and libraries.